Welcome! Here's a record, a brand new release that's out today, the date of me recording this video, and uh, this video will be published only a few days or so after I've recorded it, so uh, this is a pretty fresh new release, although technically it's a reissue of something, and it's an anniversary reissue, namely a 40th anniversary re-release of a classic album. I say classic album, I'd already own this album on CD, it was remastered, the edition I've got on compact disc, I want to say late 2000s. Anyway, let's get into this. The place I got it from, and this is going to be a big clue once I tell you, is the New Order web store, and it's a New Order web store exclusive as well. This isn't available anywhere else at any other website or even any bricks and mortar record store. So uh, while you think, oh well, it's going to be a New Order album, you may soon come to realise it's not quite as straightforward as that. We've got some invoices and stuff there. Does it say the price? No, I can read it. I think the price I paid for this was it was up on the site for thirty four ninety nine. I think it's a 2 LP set. Oh, it is beautiful though. Love it. So what I've got here to show you today is Joy Division's 1981 posthumous compilation and live album, Still. Got an email from the New Order mailing list saying that this was coming out. This was back in October. And I think it was around September, October 1981 where this first came out. So it's a little bit over the 40 years now. But it was announced around October of last year. And then they were taking pre-orders. So they're classing it as a 40th anniversary. There might have been a little bit of a delay. As um, there has been for a lot of things really. But um, it's come in this nice new sort of violet coloured sleeve. The original sleeve for Still was sort of like a quite gloomy grey looking sleeve. But this one is so much more vibrant. I love it. It's sort of the third and final part of this kind of Joy Division 40th anniversary trilogy of reissues. Unknown Pleasures was reissued with a white sleeve and on ruby red vinyl back in uh, 2019 that would have been. I ended up getting that second hand I think last year or maybe late 2020 as um, I wasn't really collecting records when that initially came out. And then Closer, Joy Division's second and final studio album, the anniversary reissue of that came out 2020. I did manage to pick that up. I think I got that around the time it came out or not too long afterwards. And then when this one was announced. And I think as far as I remember, as far as I know, this is the first thing that's ever been a New Order web exclusive, certainly in the actual physical music genre. So Joy Division, I feel like they don't really need an introduction from me. Um, they were the band that New Order became. Ian Curtis, he took his own life, and I think it was May 1980, around the time Closer was coming out. Joy Division went on to become New Order. Gillian Gilbert joined the band. Bernard Sumner took over what would have been Ian Curtis's role as lead vocalist. And uh, New Order have been my favourite band for so many years now, pretty much all of my life, really. And uh, I do collect everything of theirs and relating to theirs that I can lay my hands on pretty much. So this one was a must have as I'd already got the anniversary. Ruby Red, Unknown Pleasures, and Crystal Clear Vinyl, Closer. So what kind of edition is this, apart from the lovely new Violet Puce-looking sleeve? I love the word Puce, I don't know why, it just always amuses me. Let's get into it and find out. There doesn't seem to be a hype sticker on this album, I think there's like a little barcode sticker on the back, but um, that means I'm just going to tear right into this. I did get my tweezers ready try and take the cellophane off more carefully but with no hype sticker on this cellophane yeah it's just a little barcode sticker there ah now then this is a gatefold edition which um the unknown pleasures and closer editions i've got aren't there's not an awful lot to see in there i don't even know if i'm getting this on camera very well but it just lists the tracks on the first lp that'll be the unreleased stuff that was compiled for this and then the second disc will be the final ever Joy Division concert, which I think was in Birmingham, if my memory serves, in May 1980, probably a matter of days before Ian Curtis took his own life. What's notable about the live concert from Birmingham, included in Still, 
is that that was the first and only public performance of Ceremony by Joy Division, which would go on to become New Order's debut single. So let me have a look at the inner sleeves and the discs themselves. Continuing with this violet slash puce motif here, and we're going to be able to have a look at a lovely crystal clear edition of the album. So they've gone with the same crystal clear vinyl that they did for Closer back in 2020, but that's perfectly fine. I think these clear looking records always look fantastic. This one very transparent, I can see pretty well, particularly in the run out in the centre, so that's marvellous. As I say, currently only available at New Order's web store. There will be people picking this up and flipping it, no doubt, but as far as I know, it's still available. I think there is limited quantities of this. I think it's like limited to 10,000 worldwide. Not an inconsiderable number, but it's not exactly unlimited numbers either. I've got the second disc out, but it's gonna look exactly the same. So just to show you that it is two crystal clear discs here. But yeah, really happy to have got this. Quite expensive set really for what it is, but you can buy brand new records for more than 35, 40 pound really, depending on who it is and other factors. Real nice collector's piece. This is gonna go into a gatefold protector that I've got to keep it as pristine as possible. And I, of course, we'll be listening to this later on. But the um, third and I would have thought final as all the other things that have come out have been kind of live albums and some kind of greatest hits compilations that, um, you know, kind of more for the casual Joy Division fan. But I think this will most likely be the final 40th anniversary reissue in the Joy Division canon, as it were. But still, lovely new gatefold violet sleeve and crystal clear vinyl. Nice. 180 gram as well. Shame there's no number on it to sort of say you've got edition, I don't know, 7208 or something, but numbering all those would have been a bit of a hassle. But thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look. It's a new release. It's come out today. I've received it on the day of release. Joy Division still, 40th anniversary, New Order website or web shop, web store exclusive. Special thanks as always. They go to my wonderful subscribers. Thank you for all your support over all the years. And of course, my amazing, brilliant patrons who support me from as little as one or two dollars a month to help me grow this channel and maintain it. You can do the same if you're interested by seeing my Patreon link down in the description text box. Also, there's my Facebook group link. I do love to talk about music as well. Always flash my social media stuff on screen at this point as well so if you just like a chat with me about music or anything else to do with collecting really then i'm always easily accessible and you can get in touch with me whenever you wish i'm gonna go now and as i say gotta put still by joy division an album i've not listened to in a long time i do prefer new order to joy division i always have but joy division i collect them because they are essentially the same band as New Order, or certainly a descendant on the family tree, at the very least. I can't wait to get that on the turntable, and I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next record, mail opening and collecting video. Cheers everyone. See ya!